Okay, so you can see we're almost there. Um, we've actually had the car on the track uh, break things in a little bit. Um, it's all been on setup station, right height set, group set, everything is uh, where it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, how to measure the uh, unsprung uh, weight and uh, how to measure the uh, center of gravity. So basically what I've got here right now is I've got the the shocks are disconnected, the anti-roll bar is disconnected, and I've just put a, a couple bars here underneath so that the chassis is, the weight of the chassis is sitting on that, it's not sitting on the scales. So the only thing I have sitting on the scales is the weight of the wheels and the axles, essentially the unsprung weight. So, very simple, just turn our scales on here, drop the weight of the wheels, I'm going to bounce a couple times to make sure that they're, they're settled properly, and just read the numbers off of the uh, scales and take the sum of the weights on both sides, because <clears throat> we want the total unsprung mass for the rear of the car. Uh, and uh, the only other thing that you have to add in is because we have a shock absorber which is partially connected, it's connected to the uh, uh, chassis on one end and the suspension arm on the other, the general rule of thumb <coughs> in most books that you read will say to include half of the weight of the shock. So we just measure our shock absorber with the spring and everything on it, if I can keep it on the scale, uh, and that's 11 grams. So since we have two of them, we'll take the weight of one shock uh, and add that to our total uh, unsprung mass. So you can see here, I just wrote that down. I've got the reading on the scale on the left side, on the right side, plus the weight of the uh, shock absorber. The total of that is my rear unsprung mass. Repeat the same procedure for the front, and you've got your front unsprung mass. Okay, I'm going to put this back together, uh, put the shocks on and uh, anti roll bars back on, and uh, then we'll do the uh, center of gravity measurement. Okay, what we're going to do now is measure the uh, CG position. So we got the car all prepped, ready to go, um, as it would be to hit the track, body on, all the electronics in, everything's there. Uh, we got four, uh, four scales, so we just have to uh, zero out our scales here. Fronts. And just settle the car on the scales, and then go around and read. Take the readings on each of the uh, four scales, uh, record those, and we'll enter uh, <coughs> that information into the uh, uh, program when we create the model. Uh, the other thing that's important here is to make sure you're doing this on a level surface. So I've got a, a setup board here that's uh, been leveled in both directions. Otherwise, it'll throw your readings off slightly and you'll want to try and be as accurate as you can. Okay, so next, we have to measure the CG height. And for that, I need this little beast, which allows me to raise the rear of the car relative to the front and record the weight on the front wheels and knowing that information and the numbers that we just measured we can calculate what the height of the center of gravity is and you have to make sure that nothing is binding or catching or anything of that nature so it takes a little fiddling around to, to get everything right so we're not, the body's not catching on something which is easy to do, as I have right now. Okay. All right. Um, I always put the, even though I'm not using the scales on the rear, I always put them on top of the fixture because uh, that means that the rear wheels are raised by the thickness of the. Uh, scales as are the front wheels. So then the only dimension I need to know is the height of my fixture, uh, which I know is 102 millimeters. Okay, so now we just repeat the measurements and all we, <coughs> all we need to do is measure the uh, 
the weight on the front wheels. So we just have to zero everything out here. Zero. Okay. We need to sort of settle the car and write down the numbers. And what I do is I do this several times because it is a very sensitive measurement and I want to try and make sure I haven't got any errors in it. So I'll take the car off, reset it. Make sure it's not hitting on anything. Okay, so essentially what I did was I took five different readings with the, the uh, weight on the front wheels. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll sum all these up and, and take the average to get the, uh, the weight and that's the weight I'll use to uh, calculate the center of gravity. So you can see that the numbers do vary somewhat. Uh, it's very sensitive when you're trying to uh, put in the car there's a lot of different variables here that are coming into play so I'm sure there's a better more accurate setup but this is the best that I've got and uh, it does work reasonably well and what you want is a number that's uh, representative of the uh, center of gravity of the car and everything else you're doing is relative to that so so that's it. So next step is to take all these measurements and everything that we've uh, taken and put them into RC crew chief.